What's up, Team Seven? Gator Boy here, back in the vlogs. Bad idea. I should not play Jumanji. I got into Jumanji now. I'm in Jumanji already. I'm just kidding. This is Guatemala. It's in a ranch of my grandfather's. As you can see, the background. Look how beautiful it is here. Literally, this is the best place I can start a vlog. My adventures, actual adventures. Anyways, guys, this is a very beautiful city. It's just like some of y'all like Mexico. It's kind of the same thing in here, but except look at the town over here. There's mountains, there's farms. Like right now, I'm in my grandfather's farm. Team Seveners, this is the cabin from this farm. Right here, we have potato seeds. You get it, french fries. So if I plant this, French fry seed, it'll grow French fries like McDonald's, Burger King's, no matter what restaurant, whatever the French fries y'all like, these are the French fries. Well, look, guys, this is the mountain that I was going to climb. There are rocks, I don't know what are these rocks doing there. Does it mean we cannot climb from here? Does it mean we cannot hop through there? Anyways, look, it's a dinosaur jello. It's actually juice, it's not really jelly. Pretty sure it's delicious. Probably tastes like watermelon, lime, whatever, it's green. <laughs> I just know it's tasty. Anyway, look at these mountains. They're so beautiful. It's just like somewhere in Nebraska or I don't know. My only question, what is up there? Are there any mountain sheep? Alligators? No, no, no. There are no alligators in here. This is Guatemala and there's no American alligator. Literally, that's somewhere in Brazos Bend. This is not Brazos Bend. This is Guatemala and there are no swamps in here. It's just mountains. A uh, mountain sheep is more likely jaguars. Actually, we can see jaguars somewhere in the jungles, but they're not in here. This is mostly a forest and a mountain. Somehow like Nebraska, I don't know where else. Yellowstone. This kind of feels like Yellowstone, except there's no bisons or buffaloes. Team Seveners. Now I am in the garden. It's actually more like a jungle garden. So over here, these, I don't know what are these. These are probably lemons or lime. I do not know what is that. But I'm sure there's a lot of fruits over here. So right over here, I don't know what is this as well. I think those are tomatoes, apples. Kind of confused, what are they? I mean, I don't think apples look like this. So I'm pretty sure those are tomatoes. I don't know if tomatoes grow from trees or from plants. But look at this whole natural place. And I think those are bananas. Yeah, somehow these are banana trees. This is where bananas grow up. You know, bananas and I can make a banana milkshake. Banana, everything out of bananas. Yo, but really there's no animals in here. Oh, that's my favorite part of the nature. Creatures and... At least there's a forest. Wait, is Bigfoot over here? Oh, how can I forget Bigfoot? Is Bigfoot even over here? I don't think so. <laughs> Bigfoot is only found in America. This is not America, this is Guatemala. It's a very beautiful country. But the problem is that the Wi-Fi is the problem, literally. Never mind, guys, I changed my mind. These were not lemons nor fruits. This was actually coffee beans. So they first turn to be green, then they go yellow, and then they turn red. At the point, they look like cranberries. And then that's where the coffee comes from. So I changed my mind. These were not fruits, but they kind of look like fruits. Oh, and these are not grapes, by the way. Like I said, these are coffee beans. But yet, I still cannot find the Bigfoot. Definitely, I don't think it exists in here. This is Guatemala. Team Seveners, look, these are bananas right here. They look so yummy, and I cannot wait to go back to the ranch and take one so I can eat it with my cereal. Officially, at nights, I eat cereal over here. There's nothing else like pancakes. Obviously, we have no pancakes in here. It's just cultural food. But anyway, these bananas are just as sweet, very sweet. Sweet as if it was candy, like cotton candy. They don't taste like cotton candy, but I know they're just like that type of sweet well team centers now i am in the jungle <laughs> actually i am in the jungle 
Look at this place. It's green. So yes, this is the actual jungle of Guatemala. It's actually in the mountain. So it's more like a jungle mountains. It's so green. It has many banana trees, many coffee beans. You know, those ones that look like fruits. Definitely, this is a jungle. There were rivers, small rivers, but I can hear another river close over here where I am right now in this jungle. Look guys, this is a banana tree jungle. This looks like the exact jungle that Ray First Cafe decorates a store. You know Ray First Cafe and this is the river but it doesn't have enough water. You can see the little bit of water over there. But this is the most amazing part of this place in this jungle. And there's more than just those trees. Team Zeveners, now I'm going to climb for a while. Oh my, this dirt is kind of slime. No, not slime, yet. slide, slide. Oh my, guys, you have to climb all the way here. It slides me all the way down, but I made it anyways. I won. Look, Team Zeveners, this is the river. It has so much water than the other one, and it's in the mountains. Right over there, in the forest, more in the jungle. And here is the bridge, and from there, that's where the water comes. Look, there is much water than the other one. Well, now I am in Todos Santos Cuchumatan. This is somehow a town, and it's also a hotel room, I think so. This is what I said, this is Palacio Municipal, Todos Santos Cuchmatan. Why am I even speaking? Anyways, this is the hotel room, I think. Oh guys, look at these paintings. This is, I don't know what this is. This is dragon, I think so. This is the corn. So these are graffitis. It's not like over there where you see different type of graffiti, so. Sorry guys, there's a car over there. Okay, the car is going. Look at these graffiti over here. This a man and his horse. It's a man and his coconut as well. I think that's all. That is an awesome artifact made in this town. Very beautiful town. Look at these other artifacts over here. These are like lions, and supposedly supposed to be a faucet, I think. Yeah, it's a better faucet, better than the one in my country. Oh, well, guys, now I'm in somewhere in the town or in the city. And this is like the flea market. Owners. I just climbed up in a mountain and I found this rock shaped like a heart. It's called La Peña del Corazón because it's shaped like a heart. I mean, 
My question is who made this? Who is the artist? Pretty sure the artist made a great job over there. Like this is so amazing. Like how can this artist come all the way through here to build that heart over there? Like literally these mountains. And look at these plants. They look like cactuses. Well, to me, I don't know what about y'all, but to me they're like cactuses. Look at those other plants over there. And that's the whole ranch. More like the farm. This is how far away it is. Well, and over here, I made myself my own art. Look, it's an A. Start. Okay, Team Seminars, look, I'm going to climb on those rocks over there. Watch this. I'm going to climb like Spider Man. And I'm up here. Yeah, pasa. And now I came down from the mountains. And now I'm back to the ranch. There's many more ranches over here. There's many plants. There's many rocks everywhere. I'm eating an ice cream right now and by the way I'm in San Marcos well not the one from Texas is this is somehow an island I think I don't think so but yeah I'm in San Marcos except it's not in Texas uh, look guys this is a theater in San Marcos yep there's still mountains but look at this theater this is where the Mayas make their show Music, I got no culture. Look, Tim Samuel, this is an art. I don't know what is it is, I think a Mayan or a Spaniard, but look, he has the golden axe. And this is a tribal, I think. And also, this is another Mayan, it's a Mayan woman, you know, releasing the flowers in the air. And supposedly, this is somehow a cow, or I don't know what is that. And look at this other art. These are the Quetzals and a tiger in the middle. And from there, there is a man pouring the water. And he created the lake. I mean, not sure. Okay, and this is a Spaniard and the Mayan. <laughs> Stop it, 
you know, I, you know, the same thing if you have a lot of uh, friends, you say, you know what? Look, teams and winners, these are cultural made things and cultural made bracelets. Look, I just got one. This is the hair color I'm gonna get soon. Look, Guatemala. Look at these cultural clothes things and look at those dolls. Looks Captain America, Iron Man, Batman, and Spider Man from Spider Man 3. We got footballs. Here's ball, yo yo. Everything cultural made. Es necesario repasar 15 veces en distintos malacates. Y por ejemplo, ahorita que me quedé sin algodón, no es necesario realizar ningún nudo. Simplemente agarro más algodón ya suavizado, porque si no está suavizado, eh, complica el trabajo. Por eso es muy importante que el algodón se suavice primero. Simplemente debo de agarrar eh, el hilo pegarlo encima de, del algodón y nuevamente vamos girando el malacate lo vamos eh, lo dejamos reposar en el tinte ya que nuevamente les repito entre mayor tiempo obtendremos un tono más Y, ¿Y para de remolacha o de zanahoria? zanahoria. Ah. Y para garantizar nuestros productos, después de teñirlo, debemos de remojarlo en tronco de banano, ya que el tronco de banano lo utilizamos como fijador o sellador de color. Ah. De esta manera, para que al momento de cuando ustedes lo laven, esto ya no pueda destruir. Si ¿Sí se pueden dar cuenta, esto ya no destruye. El tronco de banda, ¿no? Pero tiene que ser en hilo. Lo pueden ir Gracias. ¿Alguna duda, pregunta? Ah, creo que nos explicaste bien. Gracias. Entonces, en nombre de esta cooperativa, que la integramos. Bueno, y me gané un nuevo hat. Que like es de San Juan La Laguna. With an amazing colors. Y el lavado, este proceso por general es lo que se utiliza comúnmente en cualquier tipo de beneficio, donde se le extrae la cascarita roja y se obtiene el dinero. Look, Team Seveners, now I'm in a museum. The coffee thing was great, but now look, I'm in a painting. There's Mona Lisa, there is the mountains, and of course, nature, the lion, some um, sports. You know, this place looks like a museum. Pretty sure some of you guys really like to come over here. Team 
Seveners, now I am in Santiago Atitlan. Look at this, bro. this is so beautiful. I mean, just the same thing they're selling. Cultural clothing. Look, Contenders, this is a wallet with colorful. These are also like cups to take in during the sun. These are salts with decoration on it. <clears throat> and this is also for pens right here. These are bracelets. Although these are pens, just the same thing with decorations on it. And here are all of the diamonds and necklaces. And purses, small purses, um, bracelets, some dolls. We have a Salitos and many more. Look, the generous. These are like patches. You can stick them in your shirt. This is an iguana. This is a turtle. This is a dinosaur, a hummingbird. This is an elephant. These are animals. Frog. A frog. Made out of marbles or something. And these are keychains as well. Look, it's a seahorse. And bracelets where you can put your own name over here. Like, I'm gonna get one later on. I think so. If I can. If not then. Oh well. Here are also wallets. There's many more over here. Here's same thing. Dolls. This recuerdo de Santiago Atitlan. This is like a decoration to remember when you came here. And these are towels. Mask. These are masks. Culture made masks. And pen with the name. Yeah, and pens with names. You can put your own name over here or you can take the one with the name of the country. And same thing, you can put your name over here or whatever. Or glass. Glass that you can take during the sun time. And more necklaces over here. Oh, here's some bags over here and again dolls yo-yos a scarf same thing again again and again and some bottles to drink either water or whatever get some keychains Look guys, they sell a lot of stuff over here. They sell food, they sell clothing. This place is so cool. They also have clothing, sweaters. la película, novela, los discos. And now I'm back in the city in Chantlan. So there's music playing in the background. You hear? I mean, I don't know, I'm pretty sure it's just a radio. Nobody's actually playing marimba. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, now I'm in the Catholic Church of Chantla. It's very beautiful in the inside. There's the cross where Christ was crucified. 
look over there there's a lot of art in here even i wish my church decorated was decorated like this and this i think this is mary saint mary and right now they're repairing and that's the holy spirit supposedly and up there there is a cross connecting the other churches actually wait the trees and the apartment well now i am at the mall over here still in guatemala <laughs> i mean today is the last day i'm gonna be here because tomorrow is when i travel back to my homeland and now we're here in the third floor upstairs so it looks like there's not enough companies except for this manchester company's empty i'm like it's not my own one over here someday i don't know what is this things are trophy this is somehow pop culture here yeah. the vania store somehow it's pop culture in your optica pineapple i think nope no company Okay Team Summoners, if you really like this movie, be sure you hit like, comment below, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and if you did, then click notification buttons to get notified when the next video or next movie comes up. And what do y'all think about this movie? What do y'all think about my adventure? Was it great? Was it amazing? Should I go here again? Or should I go somewhere else? Be sure y'all comment below where should I go the next time I go traveling. And see y'all next time.